hello everyone welcome back to my channel bfs factory i hope you all are doing well and safe at home so today we will know how to create a beautiful logo only using a image or png file so uh, this is the png file i want to create the logo and i before that i separated all this uh, all these images into different layer i will show you so this is i separated in photoshop in different layer let me hide and let me show you one by one this is the text layer and this is the white base layer this is the <coughs> red layer and this one is the main black layer of this bat so uh, i created this inside the photoshop you can uh, separate this all as layer and save this as the psd file okay so i already made this so let's create a new composition okay and now i will take this all select this all layer and place here or you can directly click here double click okay so this is your layer now we will name this all let's text okay and then this is the yellow layer sorry <coughs> this is the yellow base you can rename as your choice what is this this is red red layer and this is our main black bed black layer black okay now we will add some mask in all this layer let's select one by one select text and go to layer auto trace you can see lots of points and path there sorry i deleted let's make it again go to layer and auto trace okay again let's go to yellow this one layer auto trace do this step in all layer auto trace and last black layer auto trace sorry guys here i mistake something black ck okay <clears throat> this is finished now we will take a new solid layer name as element 3d go to effect and preset search element or you can go here direct effect sorry first select this layer and go to effect video copilot and then element it will take some time my system is a little bit slow so it's taking time okay it appear already so go to the custom layer and test and mask we will add all this layer in this path layer okay first we will take text then yellow base then red then black we have four layers here we have already selected this all let's hide this then go to scene setup now we will extrude one by one all four layers okay go to extrude and first we got this text layer then again we will duplicate this by ctrl d and go to go here custom path and write part 2 custom part 2 okay place it here and again control d 
go to custom part part 3 go here and move this z axis to forward okay we can see the see all our 3d models and again this is third third layer and one more layer control d path 4 okay so we got all our png i hope sorry png all our 3d models from the png let's adjust it as your requirement let's color it as we have already in the png go to preset physical the bed is black this one is black so we will add black here sorry again okay this is black now and this layer is red we will go to red okay this is red and this base layer was yellow but we can add little bit glossy like uh, gold so this is looking fabulous now let's let's extrude this layer little bit high like this you can design your own now let's go to this layer and here i will add some different kind of textures okay i will go to metal and something like white okay i have this material on text so this is our 3d models now we can work with this okay let's create a new camera new layer new camera make this 35 mm or anything as you want 35 mm this should be two nodded camera click ok then to to operate the camera in different angle click c as many time you click the c button you can see the different mode of camera in this mode we can move this like up down left right okay in this mode we can zoom it like this okay <clears throat> and in this mode we can totally change its direction like this we can rotate it we can place it anywhere okay if you want to know details about this 3d camera inside the after effect must comment me in the comment section so let's delete it and create one more once again sorry one more not once again new camera okay click c twice and make it in the center let's create a new background layer solid sorry back let's bg that's the shortcut everyone use keep this at the bottom of the element 3d layer go here and write gradient we will add this effect to the gradient ramp okay now change its color to something like uh, this yes this will be okay this is fine this is looking awesome click ok and don't go to sorry and then go to ramp shape click radial and swipe you can place anywhere okay 
now go to the element 3d layer and go to render setting go to ambient occlusion okay and click here we can see the difference let's increase its intensity to 10 okay now you can see the difference here some ambient shadow is created inside this now we will add some light here new light keep it point and okay you can see when we added the light some effect are come like this this is shining okay let's sorry let's place this somewhere like uh, here and you can change the color of this light as you want like this i want to add this color yes, this is fine now it's okay and i will duplicate this light by clicking ctrl d and move this in the another place like this you can change its perspective by clicking here you can click left now you can see where the light is actually okay this is the place of the first light and this is the second light go to front view adjust it as you want okay so now we will add some shadow go to render setting and then shadow this is the shadow enable and go to shadow mode into ray test okay now go to camera go to camera and let's animate the camera go here or direct you can control the p okay let's go to we will make the animation for cola i will keep the animation for five to six second let's six second second okay and press n to trim it go to five second and click the position timer here and go to first second and rotate it or make as your wish okay make the camera animation animation as your wish and keyframe by use this and this one okay i am making here the simple animation only just to show you okay so this is my animation let's see how it's looking like yes this is how we created the 3d logo intro with the help of only png file or you can make the png from the different images okay let's add some flare here lens flare go to layer new solid flare okay go here and type no light factory use light we will use this two light 
as the source click the flare and change the mode to screen so that it will be transparent okay then go to location and use light okay you can see this two light are working as the lens flare now now if we move it like this yes it's really beautiful you can see this go to let's let me adjust little bit in the camera section oh. this okay so this is for today's video if you like this video most like this video if you learn something from my video must comment and uh, do support me i will make more simple video for beginners and uh, as we will create our audience we will go advance on this and must follow me in my instagram link in bio i have already did a small small vfx work so let's see in next video till then bye bye